Right, nasty job to do. I'll get this timber off and then cut these back. I could stay at that. Well, I can cut it back to there. Straight down. Not the best I can anyway. Well, I just took that piece of loose stuff out. Really? That wasn't cementing back in. You see there's no cement under there. Really that wasn't putting in properly. This jacking up. That's shit, isn't it? Even the pad stone, I don't know. I don't know whether you should have a pad stone on this. That's what I don't get. Just cut the plaster back before they open the hole up. But they haven't cut the brick to the line. The fuck? Eh? Oh, it's a bit better. It's a bit here that are a bit awkward to get to. But when I got my laser on it, I think his wall kicks in anyway. I had level on it the other day and I think that was him. Um, I need to sort that bottom out. Might have to take the skirting off. Builders should really have a big still saw, at least higher one. But you can see he's had to do the same as me. Just done it with angle grinder. Bodged it. Uh, I've just spoken to owner. I'm gonna replace that. I need to get a prop. I'll get a piece in there. Get a better piece in. Uh, I'm just cutting this floor away. I need to get the rest of this board up, but I don't want to take all this down today. Cork tiles on top of the floorboards, stuck down, of course. So I'm going to cut a couple of boards away where I can get my hand and I can look to see where these pipes go. These are radiator pipes. Let's see about getting this section out. It's quite hard going with the tiles stuck to it, but it's, it's rotten here. Whether that's the radiator or... No, that door was right over there. It's radiator leaking. Right, get in there. That's leaking. Builder must have trampled on it. That's why it's right there. An old mat well. This was the kitchen once upon a time, apparently. Right, so that's what I've got. There's a timber down there. I wonder if at some point that was propping it up. Anyway, I'm going to get some more timbers on here, bolt them on.
had to belt that in. I think it should be sitting on this edge, on this lip. That's just sitting on the steel there. That's what he had. It's got that end. You can see it cupping. This thing's got a lot more power. Right, that one, can't get behind to get bolts in. That's why I've coached screwed it.
Yeah, that'll do for that. Right, just doing the last one. And I bought 150mm bolts. Because as you can see, I can only just get on there. These could have been shorter, but I didn't want to buy two bags. do not matter. And these star things, if you just use a bolt, the joist still could, you know, wobble a little bit. The bolt could sag just a fraction. These things, if ever you've tried taking the joist apart, take all the bolts out and you think, bloody hell, is it still nailed together? It's because it's got these things in. Uh, get these ones in. And I've got to put a piece of wood in there to take the end of the board. Because that's going to get bricked in there. That's the inside of the frame there, so there'll be a board going across there. There's a joist there. And I could have just used bolts, but I'm using coach bolts. And I'm putting the coach head to this side. This old timber's a lot harder than, you know, this soft stuff. It doesn't really pull in. Hardly pulls in at all. If I put it on this side, it'll sink into this soft crappy wood. And that's the same reason I'm using these big square washers. Right now, finally, I can take these boards down and start building this window. I bricked up along the front of there. I've got some boards to go in there, but I need to get these off to get them bits of board out of there. And that box, toasty dry down there. So I'm not worried about damp. Little things, see the competence that he had putting these in. Look at the size of that hole. Dickhead. Three inch there. What do you think I'm supposed to be doing with that? The man's a moron. Right, so there we go. Like I says, this is where the old door frame is. Now I've got to put a frame on here, a frame on there, then a frame up the side that projects out about 200 mil. And I told him leave that. That's fine. That's where the old door was. I can put my frame on there and build that up. But what he was thinking on this side, I ain't got a clue. that's set back which means I've got to build my frame out on there and make up that gap on the outside and it's it's got three inch there I can't cut that off like I did that one As you see it's only just sat on It's only just sat on by about four inch, so I can't just cut that off. I think I'll be able to nibble that little bit off. Maybe some of these. Shouldn't have to do this though. And apparently he stood on this pipe and broke this joint. That's why it's pissing out. coach screws in that it's not going anywhere just need to pack these up these boards that are already in 25 mil proper 25 mil 
these are 22 right, I'm just going to put a wall plate on here this builders beginning to piss me off now he was supposed to make this 1500 but he's made it 1550 which means the three meter pieces of timber I can't get two out of These are number six screws. Which means in my drill here I need a three point bit. It's a Phillips bit, it's all I've got. Like I said, I can't cut that back. And if I put my level on there, I'll measure that. That's where my bottom frame's going to have to be. This side's quite good. But of course, he didn't touch this, did he? Slight bow in the middle, but doesn't matter about that. So, when I plumb that down, if you look, it's got a bow in it. The frames come in from here, there'll be a big gap here, and then it'll be touching that block at the top, that brick at the top. So I squared that across. Now it's how much is out at the bottom here. See how much it's out at the top there. And then I just squared this one across here. Shiny pencils. So that's the size of my bottom frame. And I'm going out 200 mil. So that's the inside and the outside. And I'm not making them the same because I want to get a fixing in here. I'll show you in a minute.
put that one in partly. Just put that one in a little bit. If you put it in all the way, this timber will spin. Doing it like that stops this timber spinning. Right, so this frame's made. I've screwed it together because I don't want this to have any excuse to come apart. I'm also going to put little clips on as well. Wall plate, not always needed, but it gives you a nice flat surface to work from, to pack up off. And it also means that you can get your fixings down into something good. Especially good when you're drilling into brickwork. You know, I can make sure that I get a good fixing rather than into a joint. So that's going to go like that. You see I've projected these through because I want to get a fixing through there into this. I've got to make this up yet. So here's a better example. Imagine if that timber ran through I'd be screwing into you know the, the cut end of a piece of timber. But at least here I've got a sort of decent chunk to get me screw into that one same again got to make that up and along here I'll pack it all level and I'll just be a spike of screw down wherever I need to <laughs> 